Okay, so for this one we're going to look at the paper that we're using. You can use lined paper or you can use plain paper. So for the lined paper, you can see all we have to do is just follow along the lines with our scissors. I've left a bit at the end and I'm going to do the same here, leave a little bit at the end too. All you have to do, very slowly with your scissors, just cut, following the line, all the way to what we call the margin at the top. You can use plain paper, like this. But what you'd have to do is you'll have to put the marks in yourself. And I'll show you how to do that. You take a ruler. Here we're going to do marks at the top. At one centimeter distance. And we're also going to do marks at the bottom, and we're going to do the same, one centimetre across. Now the reason I did them at the top and the bottom is so that when we draw our straight lines, we just line them up and that way we know we're going to have not only a straight line but also the distance between the lines is going to be the same as we draw as we go along. Also, pick this up, I'm going to draw a mark of two centimetres at the top. This is up to you, of course. And this would be like my margin. Like that. Once I've drawn all my lines, like on here, I can start cutting. Like that. Can you tell the difference between this and this one? Well, that's right. This one is in the landscape position, and this one is in the portrait position. So it's up to you to decide however you want to do it. Portrait or landscape. Okay. So now this is the fun part. This is where we get to cut out all of our shapes.
there we go. Here we've got all of our colorful shapes. And let's not forget the shapes over here as well. Okay, let's make our art piece.